All right, welcome to the Cursed Hollow, where you collect tributes. Once a team gets three tributes, the enemy team will be cursed, meaning their minions take one hit to kill, and the other, uh, the opposing forts will not attack. So here we have on the blue side, we have Uther, Illidan, Vala, Abathar, and Falstad. And let's take a look over on the red team, where we have Tyrael, Naziba, Nova, Tassadar, and Jim Raynar. Battle commencing in 10 seconds. 5, 4, 3, 2, All right, so they're mounted one. up and blue team heads in to the fight. Alright, and we got early combat from Jim Raynor on Illidan from the red team to the blue team. And we see Uther dropping low. Will Uther give up first blood? He's so low. He's so low, heading back to the base. Will he be able to make it? Raynor gets a couple more shots, but Uther manages to shield and get away. Staying alive, not giving up the first blood. We have red being very... Uh, I'm sorry, yeah, red team being very aggressive early on. As red team retreats back to the base. Olin heads back to the moonwell, grabs some health, and gets right back in the fight. Red team just slightly ahead of blue team with their team level and here we have Uther getting the stun on Raynar Raynar manages to get out before he takes too much damage Falstad heads back to the base to grab some health and gets right back in the bottom lane fight here we see Abathar helping his teammate Falstad back from the base In bottom lane, we see Tyrael and Nova getting Falstad low, forcing Falstad to retreat. Up at the top, we see Naziba and Vala attacking one another, fighting for that top lane position. And so far, it's fairly even. And here we see the here we see the first tribute spawn. Now, the first team to be able to capture this will kind of set the pace here if they have the advantage. We see Blue Ting heading up, hiding in the bush. Nope, they decide to attack top lane, try to take down the Demon Hunter. Raynard gets. Demon Hunter low. Demon Hunter manages to escape. Illidan goes in on Jim Raynar, but is unable to deal too much damage enough to kill him. And Nova trying to sneak and gather the tribute, but manages to get out of there before she takes too much damage. Illidan going in deep on Raynar, but again Raynar manages to put up his shield. And Illidan is about to fall, and we just saw first blood there on uh Falstad took the first blood, and we also see the second kill of the game, and also goes to red team. And red team also captures the first tribute, so red team getting a two kill advantage and taking the tribute. And will we continue to see red team dominate throughout this? Red team has mid lane pushback, gets some damage in on the fort. I guess rather that's the gate and the turrets. Uther getting the stunt on T 
Kassadar. But Uther is not being able to do too, too much damage here. So, you see Raynor come down for the gank. Uh, but again, Uther being so strong, so tanky. Uh, not much damage can be done. And we're seeing the second tribute spawn here. So, let's see if blue team, blue team cannot catch up the red team. Get a couple kills from this. Blue team goes in hard on Nova. Nova drops low, but Nova's still alive. We have Tyrael chasing down Illidan. Illidan gains a bit of health back. But is unable to fully take anyone down yet. He's going in on Tyrael. Tyrael's dropping low. Falstad is also low. Who will drop first? And Raynar comes in from the mid lane. And is harassing Uther. And Uther cannot do much from a distance. And right team is probably going to be able to grab this this tribute we see no more blue in sight and red team uh, grabs this tribute and we see red team harassing Illidan and Illidan backs out goes back to base grabs some health We see three members of blue team in mid pushing, I'm sorry, yes, from blue team pushing red all the way back and getting some damage in on that gate and the turrets. And blue team needs some help in mid or their tower will start to fall and you're going to notice that uh, when we get more towards mid game and their tower is already so low that any kind of small push will just be able to take it down with minimal effort. We have the third tribute spawning. So if red team can capture this, they can get an early game curse on the other team. Oh, and the witch doctor goes down, getting caught by three members of the blue team. Red team has captured a mercenary camp. And red team grabs a mercenary camp. However, uh, blue team is gathering oh, is gathering the tribute, and they managed to get their first tribute and uh, their second kill. So red team still has a bit of an advantage. However, blue team is doing a great job of holding their ground and doing their best to keep up. And here we see at bottom lane what that mercenary camp can do here. So it's pushing the lane. You see the two uh, monsters. And we see Tyrael dropping low, almost dying. Uh, Falstaff, for some reason, did not try to get finish off uh, Tyrael. And Tyrael manages to get away. We have Jim Raynor coming down to try to help out bottom lane. And we see an alt go off. Not sure who's alt. That may be uh, Nova's alt. And we see False Dodge drop. And Illidan goes in and gets a kill for the blue team. Illidan goes in. Almost gets a kill on, on Tassadar. But Tassadar manages to get away. Uther dropping low. Also gets away with a heal and his tanky stats. Here we see Demon Hunter trying to grab the resource. However, Witch Doctor throws up uh, the zombies and breaks up her gathering. We see False Side gathering it. Looks like Witch Doctor. Or I'm sorry. It looks like yeah, Witch Doctor is going to be chased off, and Demon Hunter takes her down. Tassadar is up. Oh, Demon Hunter takes two hits from the turret, and Tassadar manages to take her down. We got Raynar chasing down Falstad, and Falstad drops between Raynar and Tyrael. Illidan being chased away now.
So we are now tied at two tributes and uh, all teams uh, four kills, six fours, and twelve levels. So we got a dead even game here, guys. Uther's dropping low, but he's just so tanky. Oh, and the gate keeps uh, possibly Jim Raynar's alt. I think that was Jim Raynar's alt from killing him. And the gate has dropped, and now we will see red team push that mid lane of blue and take the turrets down. Those turrets are dropping quickly, and blue team is just, they need to send more. Illidan's coming down from the top lane, and he needs to get there fast to get this clean up. They need these kills here. And Tyrion manages to get away with just a tiny bit of health, but they do get a kill on the other team. And we have the fifth tribute spawning. Now, whoever grabs this is going to uh, is going to get the curse on the other team. So we have Illidan down there now for the blue team. And he can't quite get it. Tassadar comes down and interrupts him. And the red team is now cursed. Illidan manages managed to grab that. I'm not sure why he didn't keep interrupting Illidan. And Demon Hunter is getting hunted down, and Nova, I believe, gets the kill on the Demon Hunter. Alright, so Red Team is now cursed for the next, uh, it, it was a total of a little bit over one full minute. So, Red Team's really going to be able to push here. These minions are just going to drop uh, very easily with one hit, and we'll see what comes of this first curse. Here you are slain. Blue Team has destroyed a fort. Oh, so we see blue team destroying a fort with a curse on the red team. And Illidan is going in on the Witch Doctor. Witch Doctor manages to escape, but not for long. Illidan staying on him. Will he get the kill? And Witch Doctor still alive. And finally, Illidan gets the kill on the Witch Doctor and then on Tassadar. So red team gets a double kill. I'm sorry, that was... Yes, that was... Uh... <laughs> Sorry, that was blue team getting a double kill. And the curse time finally runs out, but the damage seems to have been done. Uh, blue team is really pushing in on the red team. We see an alt from Nova. I believe that's what this is. No, there's Nova's alt, and she takes down Uther with it. I believe this is actually Jim Raynor's alt, possibly, we see. Yes, the ship is firing down. Sorry, guys, that was Jim Raynor's alt, not Nova's alt, as I called it before. Alright, and Nova drops. And blue team is really pushing hard into the red team. Uh, they have their first... Looks like they have their first... Uh, Defense down. And Illidan is dropping low. Tyrael chasing him down. And manages to get the kill. It was either from the Witch Doctor or Tyrael. I could not tell if it was Tyrael's last hit. Or the Witch Doctor's little spider bug things. Alright, so here we see uh, Red Team going after the mercenary camps. And Red Team grabs the mercenary camp for the bottom lane, it looks like. So, the bottom lane will get pushed by this camp. And we'll see if Red Team can't push back a bit more. Blue Team's really taking off here. Uh... They do have a one level advantage on them as well as uh, five kills. So we got a tribute spawning soon. So if Red can grab this, this will greatly help them uh, mount a bit of a comeback. But they really got to make sure they grab this tribute. Because if Blue Team grabs it, uh, it's going to be tough for Red Team to come back. 
and blue team grabbed the tribute. So hopefully uh, for red team, these uh, mercenary camps at the bottom, well, unfortunately they got destroyed. Oh, and we see Tyrael going in on the, uh, I don't even know who that was, I couldn't even tell. Everyone's dropping low. We do have, uh, we do have two, we have two, uh, heroes down on the blue team. So, and now we got a hero down on the red team. So we have two heroes down on the red team, so... We're now on a two-on-three situation right now. And let's see if Red uh, can get up to that tribute, finally get their first curse, and see if they can push back against this blue team. Blue team is now four kills ahead and one level ahead. Hopefully, Tassadar can grab this uh, tribute for the Red team. All right, so now the blue team is cursed for 70 seconds, and we will see what red team can do with that. And you see Raynard just taking down all those uh, minions with just one shot. Uh, Falsad almost got the kill on Raynard, but Raynard managed to escape. The blue team's doing a good job of defending their base while being cursed. And I don't think this curse is going to have much of an impact uh, for the red team. Alright, Tyrael dropping low. Can the Demon Hunter catch up with Tyrael? Material manages to escape still alive. And Demon Hunter is getting low. Material still alive with just a sliver of health. And Illidan is going to go after Tassadar. But does not look like he got to him. There we go. Illidan gets the kill on Tassadar. And Tyrael still being alive. Just with a bit Nova chasing Tyr er, chasing Illidan away. We now have the red team with 12 kills and the blue team with 18 kills. And we will see blue team push even further while they have a 4 on 3 advantage at the moment. I'm sorry, a 4 on 2 advantage at the moment. And Nova's trying to take the witch doctor, or I'm sorry, the demon hunter down, but uh, demon hunter is just dealing out much more damage than she can deal. All right, and we see blue team moving in to attack the red team's uh, final fort. Material dashes in on the demon hunter, gets her low, and I think Nova got that kill. Here we go with a Raynar alt. Uh, I believe that was Jim Raynar's alt, maybe not. Uh, Raynar getting chased down, but he has the shield up. Nova also getting chased down. Uther. Taking the towers and Uther will drop. And Uther actually manages to get a kill on uh, maybe Jim Raynar while he was down. So we see a red team going after a mercenary camp uh, again for the bottom. And let's see if this can help them push that bottom just a bit more. Try to dig them out of this hole. They are down five kills. The levels are uh, even right now. I do believe, uh, yes, blue has a bit more experience. So I do believe they will be uh, leveling first. Here we have uh, another tribute spawning. Blue already has one tribute. So if uh, they can grab another two, surely they will be able to uh, put this game away. But we have red team waiting in the bushes to see if any blue comes down here. And the tribute has spawned, and they are 
ambushing, waiting to ambush the blue team. We have not seen any blue team yet uh, come down to contest this bottom tribute. And red team takes it with no uh, resistance. Blue team grabs a mercenary camp from the top lane, and this will push them even further into the uh, red base. But they have to be careful that red team doesn't push their tower down uh, first. Uh, but blue team does have the advantage, so they do have have that uh, benefit. Red team takes down a fort. And red team will have to retreat from bottom lane, even though they would like to push. They need to defend. Defend their palace. We can see the mercenary taking down towers. And here we go. Jim Raynar alt. And we see Raynar defending the palace as well as the rest of the red team. Uther goes right on the steps and drops on the steps. And this could be the end for the red team. We have blue team just takes down Raynar drops. So now we are three on uh, three right now. But they have that uh, mercenary just destroying the palace, taking the palace down, and blue team will win it. Alright guys, thank you very much. My name is Bredicles.